a man that was able to defeat God himself, Rick has had quite a few inventions that were revolutionary. One even prompted the Galactic Federation to arrest him so they could find out the secrets to one of his portal guns. And any man, real or fiction, that beat God and outsmarted the entire universe is worth talking about. So here are the Rick and Morty most powerful weapons. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10. Love Potion We're going to be starting off this list with Rick's Love Potion. Now, this isn't a weapon in the traditional sense, but it could still be considered a chemical weapon. And that's precisely why we chose to include it on this list. When Morty needed some way to get Jessica to go out with him, Rick made him a love potion that instantly made anyone fall in love with Morty. Alright Morty, whoever you smear this stuff on will fall in love with you. And only you, forever. Are you happy now, Morty? Heck yeah! He used a little too much of it, the entire town fell in love with Morty. Rick developed an antidote and turned the whole world into a half-human, half-praying mantis. And the only possible cure was Rick finding an alternate universe where those Rick and Morty died. The real Rick and Morty took their bodies, buried them and took their place. Jesus! That went really south, really fast, didn't it? Welp, now you know why you shouldn't mess with Rick's love potion or his antidote, this man destroyed the earth during one prom night. Number 9. Dog Helmet have you ever wondered what a dog could do if they could talk? Where are my testicles, Summer? Where are my testicles, Summer? Well, Rick gave us a little clue as to what that world would look like. And let me tell you, it's not pleasant for those people that have mistreated dogs, like Jerry. The helmet he put on the dog allowed it to become smarter, to speak and understand human speech, but the pooch also found out that he could increase his brain power by adding more batteries inside the helmet. And many batteries later, the entire human race was turned into obedient slaves of the dog cyborgs and they lost it all because the pooch wanted to smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, he managed to save Morty who was deathly ill. Well, we all knew dogs were man's best friend, but we didn't know they loved us that much. If you want to see the most powerful box that Rick has ever created, then just keep a close eye for our number 6 pick. Number 8. Power Suits this is a reference straight out of MCU's Iron Man. Rick even made a similar way for deploying the suit. Just like Tony, he stood on a special platform that scanned his body and outfitted him with a state-of-the-art power suit. And mind you, this was an episode about a purge just like the movie. How many rip-offs can they make in 20 minutes? But anyways, let's get back to the suits. Aside from killing the locals, they used the suit for good. That is, they gave one of the girls the suit and she used it to bathe all of the rich people in their own blood. Just like the show, the episode was dark, but it had a moral. We're not sure what the moral is, but there was one. We can pretty much bet on it. Number 7. Freeze Time Remote How does Rick deal with cleaning the house after throwing one of the craziest parties in the known universe? That's the Rick day! It's Rick! Oh, 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 man. What? He just freezes time itself. At least that's what he did on the show. And while Beth and Jerry were standing still on the driveway, they completely redid the entire house cleaned every crack and crevice in the rooms and he managed to spend some quality time with his grandchildren. So that's the difference between a genius and a mere mortal. Number 6. Me Seeks Box This is the box that teleports a Mr. Me Seeks from their home planet to wherever the box is. This is a Me Seeks box. Let me show you how it works. You press this. I'm Mr. Me Seeks! Look at me! Their only purpose in life is to serve. Their life cycle goes something like this. They're created, they help you accomplish a small task, and they vanish. All of this usually takes one day. At first, these smiling blue bobbleheads might not seem too deadly at first, but we realize just how far the Meeseeks were willing to go when they can't fulfill a task. They're an army that stops at nothing, and get this, they can't be killed by force or violence. Only by accomplishing their task will they disappear. In other words, thank God Jerry perfected his swing. Number 5. Therapy Machine since Jerry and Beth don't have the perfect relationship, not by a long shot, they decided to go to intergalactic therapy. Using advanced methods, the therapy center used a special machine to generate mythologues. They were these monstrous representations of how the person sees their partner, and oh boy was this bad for the entire therapy center. Unlike all the other mythologues, Beth and Jerry's cooperated and attempted to rule the world together. Generating thousands of Jerry slugs might not seem like such a wise idea, but you might reconsider when you realize that the machine can be used on the mythologues themselves. Why? Because this way they manage to create a female god. Yeah, Beth actually becomes a god. 
If you stay with us until the very end, you'll find out why the portal gun is not the most powerful weapon on this list. Number 4. Heistatron When Rick learned about HeistCon, he designed a special robot that would be capable of creating the perfect heist, while proving to everyone at the conference that they're no match for Rick, who, incidentally, was the only person capable of outsmarting the Heistatron. You see, Rick knew that the robot would become so powerful and even try to beat Rick at his own game, and while Heistatron was too busy writing down the perfect heist algorithm, Rick was smart enough to create a superior algorithm without ever writing it down. In the end, the robot that was set on the goal to steal the universe was stopped by a drunken scientist. Number 3. Space Cruiser Now we come to Rick's bread and butter. The Space Cruiser and the next pick on our list are Rick's go-to weapons. Now, it's not the fastest spaceship in the universe, but it's the deadliest spaceship in the universe. The first example that comes to mind has to be the episode where the ship was protecting Summer, it managed to kill the entire police force. Keep Summer safe. Hey man, what the hell? That was my daughter's pediatrician! The engine is based on dark matter, and at one point, Rick even used a miniature planet to power the ship's engine. You heard that right. Rick managed to convince an entire alien civilization that they will be rewarded for generating extra electricity. Number 2. Portal Gun Now you might be wondering why we've placed the portal gun at number 2, but you'll realize that it makes a lot of sense once you see the number 1 pick. Anyways, the portal gun has been considered Rick's go-to weapon and he never travels without it. Upon arresting Rick, the Galactic Federation wanted the equation that would help them build the portal gun for themselves. They entered his mind and they started to slowly disintegrate all of his memories. They were short on time so Rick had to think fast. The code he revealed to them only helped him to transfer Rick's consciousness inside the guard's body while trapping him inside Rick's nearly destroyed brain. And to this day, no one but Rick knows the formula to build it. Number 1. Rick See what we mean? He's not a weapon, but he's the deadliest godlike genius in the universe. Listen, I'm not the nicest guy in the universe. Because I'm the smartest, and being nice is something stupid people do to hedge their bets. He was able to single-handedly destroy the Galactic Federation and the entire Council of Ricks, that's an entire organization of the smartest Ricks from every alternate universe in the world. And still, Rick managed to take down every other Rick in this universe, a task that the Galactic Federation has been aiming to accomplish since their foundation. Oh, and he invented almost all of the weapons on this list. That's Rick C-137 for ya! On a related note, if you ever got Rick's time freeze remote, what would be the first thing that you would do? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.